everyone, this is Shiraz from Bike Advice and we have been riding this, the Suzuki GSX S750 today at the uh, Buddha International Circuit. Uh, now, until now, if you had to buy a sport bike, a hundred ho plus horsepower sport bike, can you hear that? Okay, that's how it sounds. So, until now, uh, if one had to buy a 100 plus horsepower sport bike in India, your uh, choices were pretty limited. You could either buy uh, the Kawasaki Z900 uh, or the Triumph uh, Street Triple S. Uh, that changes now with this. Now, I must add that yesterday I checked the pri you know, uh, price of the Street Triple S. The price is 9,32,500 at Showroom Pan India. So that takes it out of contention uh, in the sub 10 lakh rupee sport bike, naked sport bike uh, segment. And uh, because that will cost somewhere around like, you know, more than 10.5, close to 11 lakh rupees uh, on road. Z, uh, the Z900, if I'm not wrong, it's 7.7 uh, .7 lakh X showroom Pan India. This so 7.4 uh, lakh X showroom is the price. And so the on-road price would be somewhere around 8.3 lakh rupees. That makes it cheap, you know, like more than uh, a lakh rupee cheaper than the ex showroom price of the Street Triple S. Uh, the Ducati Monster that costs 8 lakh 3 thousand rupees uh, ex showroom Pan India. So uh, this is the cheapest motorcycle by a good margin in the 750cc sport bike segment. Uh, of course, you know, the other bikes, I would say that, you know, they're cheaters, uh, like 803cc, uh, 765cc uh, for the Triumph and uh, uh, almost litre uh, class territory uh, by the Z900, that's 948cc, okay. Uh, so this one is 749 cc, so yeah, it's bang on in the seven, for the 750 cc uh, segment, and it has the longest wheelbase. Okay, that's the red flag for the motorcycles out there on the track. So we'll just pause for a second. Uh, this has a 749 cc inline four-cylinder engine, and produces 114 uh, horsepower at uh, 10,500 rpm, and uh, 81 Newton meters of torque at 9000 rpm, has the longest wheelbase in the segment and brakes, uh, these are Nissan four, uh, four pistons grabbing the rotor and the braking, the braking on this bike is phenomenal, okay. I was barreling down the straight at more than 220 uh, kilometers per hour and uh, was starting to brake later and later, no signs of fading whatsoever. So this uh, motorcycle uh, has Kayaba fork at the front and Kayaba monoshock at the rear. The rear monoshock is adjustable for preload, even the front, uh, even, the, even the fork, the front suspension is adjustable for preload. You do not get that in the Street Triple S, you do not get that in the Monster 797. You do get that uh, in addition to rebound adjustment as well in the Kawasaki Z900. In the Monster 797, the rear, uh, the mono shock is adjustable for rebound and uh, preload. However, uh, neither the Monster 797 nor the Street Triple S, uh, they they offer uh, preload adjustment in the uh, in the shock. And uh, it's on the racetrack, you know. Uh, I I would say that uh, you know I'll I'll stick my neck out and say that you know the suspension on the road. Uh, you know, would be felt on to be on the slightly stiffer side, which is perfect, okay, because on the track uh, for my body weight, that is 55 uh, kilograms, this was perfect. However, I uh, heard heavier riders uh, saying that, you know, they found the suspension to be a little on the softer side for the track, uh, but then for the road, uh, you know, uh, I, I would say that, and, and for lighter riders, the, the, sus the suspension tune-up, uh, the suspension is absolutely perfect. And like I said, I'll stick my neck out and say that, you know, it's actually, uh, this would prove to be a perfectly sus suspended bike on uh, uh, road applications as well. And, uh, okay, this motorcycle uh, has uh, ABS, of course, and traction control. In fact, this has uh, three levels of traction control, uh, one, two, and three, one being the most lenient, 
uh, and two and three of course you know the intrusion levels they increase. I uh, chose to straight away uh, you know ride interaction control level one then I switched it off uh, and this, this bike uh, can get bonkers okay uh, touched uh, 228 kilometers per hour uh, at, you know on the back straight and this bike had uh, a lot more uh, you know in fact in fact uh, a longer stretch would have easily seen somewhere around uh, you know more than 235 or 240 even uh, but then yes even at that uh, straight 228 was uh, you know really impressive for a 750 and what else? Uh, it has a 16 uh, liter fuel tank and uh, I have already talked about the suspension. Uh, okay, this is not a short rider friendly motorcycle. The saddle height is 820 mm and uh, I am tiptoeing uh, on the motorcycle. Okay, so still uh, you know if you are 5'4 and above uh, you know you should be able to tiptoe and uh, you know ride it although of course even if you're shorter than that like i am nothing should actually uh, you know stop you from riding this motorcycle the handling is beautiful uh, tipping the bike into a corner and just straightening it up it it, it doesn't require uh, you know any muscular effort as uh, to be honest i have thought that you know the you know that this bike might require because this has the longest wheelbase in the segment okay this bike weighs uh, 230 uh, kgs kilograms uh, fully fueled okay compare that to 210 of uh, z900 approximately 190 kilograms of uh, the triumph street triple s wet weight and uh, you know 193 kgs of uh, the monster 797 so this is the heaviest of the lot so i was thinking that you know uh, this might not be uh, you know that great a handler but uh, you know the handling exceeded my expectations i uh, found tipping the bikes into corners uh, you know like second nature this dives into corners and uh, gets out of the corners in a jiffy uh, before even you have even thought about it and really impressive handling really impressive sound i don't know if you can hear that or not okay uh, beautiful handling uh, and uh, a nice wheelie machine and uh, let, let's see how it uh, performs on the road when we get it for uh, you know a detailed road test uh, then of course we'll be telling you about the fuel efficiency as well but right now uh, an amazing engine and uh, you know uh, again uh, the engine is beautiful okay there are hardly any vibrations uh, you know uh, throughout the rev range and uh, of course the road test uh, would allow me to you know check and uh, see uh, you know the minute aspects of it but the first impressions right now are that uh, first of all of course you know the engine is great uh, the uh, engine is absolutely sublime the handling is great okay the price is astonishing and uh, yep go buy it <laughs>